Hey all, how's it going today? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to start looking again at our best cheap Steam games under $10. We got 10 more for you today, so let's just jump straight into it and check them out. At number 15, we have Papers, Please. It's a simulation game in which your job as immigration inspector is to control the flow of people entering in this city. I'm going to butcher its name, Artotskan, the side of Gretzkin from Kolechia. Whew. Okay, I'm sure I murdered all those. Anyways though, among the throngs of immigrants and visitors looking for work are hidden smugglers, spies, and terrorists. Upon my first look of this game, I thought it looked kind of lame and boring. I mean, a border control simulator, you know, like, what can really be that great about that? Apparently quite a bit though, as it's the 25th best ranked game on our list and the 16th most sold. The reviews led me to watch a let's play of the game because their high praise of this point and click game surprised me. As I watched, the game seemed a little bit boring at first but got progressively more difficult. The decisions being made were more and more difficult and at the same time had to be fast paced because you receive money based on the amount of correct decisions and if you run out of money then your family can no longer survive and you lose. If you don't mind point and click games then this is a great one to check out. At number 14, we have one of my favorite games growing up, Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition. I believe I beat this game during my early high school years. This game has been one of my favorite tower defense games of all time. It is really old now, but it is a well-loved classic that if you haven't played, you should at least give it a shot. It has great creativity, a little bit of humor, and great strategy to it. The only concern I would have on this game is that it's a little bit older and so I know people have had problems running it on their PC claiming crashes and bugs. That seems to be the minority of people though and if you become one of them you can always refund it. Not to mention it's only $5 to begin with and that's not even when it's on sale. Plants vs Zombies had the 15th best rating for games under $10 on Steam and the 19th most sold copies. Number 13 on our list today is Geometry Dash which exploded in popularity when released on smartphones back in 2013 and was later released on Steam in late 2014. Geometry Dash has to be one of the best difficult platformer games of all time. Its non-stop movement paired up to the rhythm of intense music makes each level addicting until you complete it. If you want a game that can challenge you, then pick this game up for $4. With a pretty much infinite supply of online levels, you will never run out of challenges. The only reason why not to get this game on Steam? Well, perhaps you're like me and really only see yourself playing this game while you're out and about on your mobile phone. At number 12, we have The Binding of Isaac, which is a randomly generated action RPG shooter with heavy roguelike elements. Following Isaac on his journey, players will find bizarre treasures that change Isaac's form giving him superhuman abilities and enabling him to fight off droves of mysterious creatures, discover secrets, and fight his way to safety. I own Binding of Isaac and I love the play and feel of this shooter. It really brings me back to my childhood gaming on the Sega and N64. Even with basic controls, this game is quite difficult and will leave you raging at times. Throughout each of your dungeon runs, you get power-ups making you feel stronger and stronger until you walk into the wrong room, face the wrong opponents, and they deplete your health bar very quickly. Each run feels like a challenge to me and makes me want to keep playing death after death just to make it a little bit further the next time. My one big complaint about the game is that there is no controller support like the $15 sequel of the game. It's a bit frustrating as it feels like this game should be played on a controller and it shouldn't really be that hard to implement. At number 1-1, also known as 11, is Undertale. Undertale made my top 5 list last time based on its really high steam rating, but now has fallen all the way to number 11 based on my new algorithm that accounts for rating, copies sold, and current popularity. Last time I talked about Undertale, I got in a little bit of trouble because I read steam reviews that apparently were kind of spoilers. So this time around, all I will say is that this game is an RPG where you can choose to fight or you can choose to negotiate your way out of combat and avoid it. If you choose combat, you play bullet hell mini games, types like it, some of which can be insanely difficult. That's all I'm going to say this time, guys. You can't get mad at me this time, right? That's I, I barely even talked about it. Our first game to crack the top 10 today is Fallout New Vegas, which is a post-apocalyptic first-person RPG. Fallout has been a staple series across all gaming platforms for years. 
Each game has had pretty great success, yet some say that Fallout New Vegas is their favorite Fallout of them all, despite being made all the way back in 2010. Lots of praise has been directed to its great story, amazing characters, and how your choices matter and affect the rest of the game. The only really legit negative reviews on Steam's are ones of crashing and bugs on the PC, but not really about the game being bad itself. Some say buy the console version if you can, if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation. If not, I think for most people it will be fine. Fallout had the 6th most sales on the list and the 22nd best rated game on Steam under $10. At my favorite number, the number 9 is Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a high octane action game overflowing with raw brutality, hard boiled gunplay, and skull crushing close combat. Set in alternative 1989 Miami, you will assume the role of a mysterious anti-hero on a murderous rampage against the shady underworld at the behest of voices on your answering machine. Soon you'll find yourself struggling to get a grip of what is going on and why you are prone to these acts of violence. I haven't played this game myself but according to reviews it has great action, fun gameplay, as well as creating a great 80s vibe. Hotline Miami made it into the top 10 by being the 5th best rated Steam game under $10 and the 14th most players total. What's a reason not to play? Well some stated that the AI is inconsistent and makes for some frustrating deaths that don't feel like it's your fault. But overall, people really love this game. Number 8 is Saints Row the 3rd, which makes the top 10 with the 14th best rating and the 8th most sales. From what I understand, Saints Row has always been compared to a cheaper and cheesier Grand Theft Auto. Like its counterpart GTA, it's an open world action crime game that adds over the top story and comedy to the game. Depending on how you respond to over the top comedy will determine whether you like this game or not. It does have a really high rating though, which makes me think that most people find it more funny than cringe, but just be aware of that as you look to buy this top 10 game under 10. At number 7 is FTL, also known as Faster Than Light. This spaceship simulation roguelike allows you to take your ship and crew on an adventure through a randomly generated galaxy filled with glory and bitter defeat. Don't let looks deceive you about this game. Just looking at the visuals, this game doesn't look too intense. However, apparently it is a rage inducing, difficult roguelike game. One Steam reviewer said the developers only hope for a 10% win rate in this game. I can't confirm if that's true or not, but based on other reviews, it's definitely not an easy game that will be won often. Having it be so difficult though can make for tons of replayability and if you're up for the challenge, you can dump hours upon hours into this game. FTL came in at 9th for ratings and 12th for sales. And our top game for the day, drumroll, is Dishonored. Dishonored is an immersive first person action game that casts you as a supernatural assassin driven by revenge. With Dishonored's flexible combat system, creatively eliminate your targets as you combine the supernatural abilities weapons, and unusual gadgets at your disposal. I haven't gotten to purchasing this game yet either, but apparently I really need to. It has a 91 Metacritic rating, the 6th best rated game on Steam for games under $10, and the 9th best in sales. Someone says this is the best stealth and assassination game of all time. Although it has been compared to Assassin's Creed, others say that it's nothing like it because it's much more slow, deliberate movement to find the best time to strike. The story, the city's environment, the combat, and the multiple endings have made this game great and I'm excited to try it at some point in the near future. Thanks again so much for watching. If you wanna hang out with us as a community, join the Discord in the links below. It's not super lit yet, but the more people we get, the more fun it'll be and we can talk Steam games, hang out, and have a good time. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Peace.